In the summer of 2021, my wife and I celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary in Hawaii. And friend, if you ever have the opportunity, I highly recommend it. There's nothing quite like our country's 50th state. While we were there, we spent half of the time in Oahu and the other half in Maui. And let me tell you, there's no comparison. Oahu has the historical sites like Pearl Harbor, but since most of it consists of Honolulu, the island is basically a big city. Maui, on the other hand, is the closest thing to paradise I've ever experienced. It's beautiful, it's relaxing, it's indescribable. So as I heard the news of the massive wildfire that swept over the island last week, my heart was broken. We spent a great deal of time in the proud port city of Lanai. That's where we met the boat that took us on our day-long snorkeling trip. That's where we boarded a ship for our sunset dinner cruise. That's where we spent an afternoon sipping drinks at Margaritaville. But now Lanai has been reduced to ashes and rubble. As I listened to the news this morning, the reporters told us that the current death toll is 106 and that this number is likely to be a mere fraction of the final tally. Then they turn their attention to the questions that everyone's been asking. How did this fire start? Whose fault is it? What caused this horrible event? These are the kinds of things folks always ask in the face of tragedy. It's not enough to know what happened. We want to know why it happened. Whether it's a natural disaster, a mass shooting, a building collapse, or a house explosion, we want, no, we need a reason. And I don't think that it's simply because we want to understand. I think we want someone to blame. It's hard for us to get our head around the fact that bad things happen, so we spin our wheels trying to figure out who or what could have caused the catastrophe. And it's always been that way. In fact, this is the exact same kind of question Jesus' disciples were asking him about a man who was blind from birth. Rabbi, they asked, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? I mean, clearly these things don't just happen. There's got to be a good reason. There's got to be someone to blame. So who was it? Did he do something wrong or was it his mom and dad? Friend, in certain tragic situations, there is a person or persons at fault. In other instances, it's just one of those things that remind us that we live in a fallen, broken world. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? Listen to Jesus' response to his disciples. Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. So when tragedy strikes, maybe rather than trying to figure out the reason, we should be discerning our response. For people of God, the Maui fires isn't a time to point fingers. It's a purpose for prayer. It's a reason to give. It's an opportunity to act. Dear friend, the people of Lanai need you. They've lost their homes, their businesses, and their loved ones. So we could spend all kinds of time, energy, and money trying to answer why. Or we could use it as an occasion to show the victims who. The one who loves them. The one who comforts them. And the one who saves them. I'm Pastor Stephen Mims, and that's your word for Wednesday. May God bless you.